If you're a PC enthusiast, I'm pretty sure you've heard of the Lee and Lee Unifans at least once. These were the pioneers of sleek design with side lighting, enhancing aesthetics. And I've seen plenty of YouTubers using them, including Jay's Two Sons. But the price? They cost more than some good AIOs and PSUs just for a 3 pack. So if you're installing 6 to 9 fans in your build, they'll quickly eat up your budget. But today, I think I've found a better alternative for half the price. The Gamdias Aeolus P2-1203 ARGB fans. Before we start, I'll just say that this video is not sponsored, nor do I have any affiliation with the company. Anyways, we'll quickly go over the unboxing and features of these fans in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Opening it up, we have some documents on the top and a small box beneath. This box includes all the screws, including the long ones for mounting to a radiator. There are also cables for daisy chaining, along with an optional SATA power cable for the lighting. Finally, a tube of lubricant is included for when you swap the fan blades, which we'll come back to later. Next, we have the fans with standard fan blades that intake air from the front. Additionally, you also get three reverse fan blades that intake air from the back and exhaust from the front. And that's all we have in the box. The fans feel premium, especially the sides, which have dual infinity mirrors with ARGB lights that really up your aesthetic game. Now, setting up the fan is super easy. All you have to do is align the holes on the sides and snap them together like this. The tenons on each end can be easily removed by just twisting and pulling them off. This is super convenient because sometimes they can be obstructive in a smaller PC case. Also, you can daisy chain additional fans with just one cable. And yes, it works for both the fans and the ARGB lighting. Now up to this point, they're close to or almost identical to the Lee and Lee Unifans. However, what the Aeolus P2 adds is the swappable fan blade feature. You can easily push out the fan blade, add some lubricant which comes with the fans, and push the reverse fan blades in with a simple press. This feature is especially useful if you want to keep your build's aesthetics consistent. By that, I mean whether you install it as intake or exhaust, you have the option to keep the front of the fans visible instead of the back. Now I'd love to see more companies doing this cause I'm pretty sure no one wants to see the back of their fans. So these fans have a max RPM of 2400 plus or minus 10% with an airflow of 74.97 CFM and an air pressure of 3.1. I've been using this for more than a month now and I just love them. I really think they're worth the money but of course it'll depend on your preference. And let me remind you again that I got these for half the price of Lee and Lee Unifans. Now I'm not advocating that you buy these fans, cause honestly there are even cheaper alternatives that is more than enough. I just hope this video was informative and that it helps you make better decisions. That's it for my video, so have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.